A shipwrecked sailor found himself in a plight. Lost at sea, he was really a sight. He swam and swam till he thought he'd die when a wondrous sight appeared to his eye. A derelict boat that saved his life and put an end to his watery strife. Welcome aboard. Good to see you. Well, we're um, convinced that the Chesapeake Bay is going to fall out. So we're going to head back up into the northern part of the bay before long. And uh, well, come back home to up near the Baltimore area. We're way down near the mouth of the Chesapeake right now, uh, kind of waiting out the, the bad weather and all. But I guess uh, it's late enough in the winter that it's certainly not going to freeze solid from now on, is it? Famous last words. Anyhow. We're going to have a lot of fun today. Those of you crew members who have sent in some snapshots, we're going to see some more of those snapshots on my cabin wall today in just a little while. So uh, maybe we'll get to yours today. If not, be patient. We'll, we have a whole lot of them. We are behind in showing them, but we'll be catching up as soon as we can. But we'll show some more of those in just about uh, 20 minutes from right now. And we uh, should have a lot of fun because a lot of our friends are going to be with us today. And we're going to start the fun with a good cartoon right after a message. You know, a lot of you crew members have uh, sent in snapshots, and we do appreciate it. It's fun for us to see what you look like, and uh, we put those snapshots up on my cabin wall. Let's have a look at some of those good-looking crew members right there. And uh, while we're having a look, we'll also uh, mention that we heard from Amy uh, Badger of Glen Burnie, and Jeannie Logan wrote to us from Northeast Maryland and said, for what man must you always take off your hat? Well, how about the barber? Hmm? Laura Anderson wrote to us from Crisfield Place, and Tim Hay of Brooklyn, and Marty Ward of Glen Burnie says, does every dog need a license? His answer is no, not unless they want to drive a car. <laughs> and Diane Fales of Cedar Crop Road wrote to us. Jason Winnand, uh, who goes to school in Dallas Town, Pennsylvania, uh, has a question for you. What did one flea say to the other flea? One flea said to the other flea, shall we walk or take a dog? <laughs> from Chambersburg, Pennsylvania, we heard from Tom Dorsey. And Lori Wickman wrote to us from Bank Street, Catherine Burt of uh, Tapsco Avenue, uh, Kathy Burns, that is, and Don Herman of Bowie, who likes the Munsters. Nancy Burgess wrote to us from Stoll Street. And we heard from Kevin Reddy of Frederick, and Junior Bundy of North Denison Street says what weighs 600 pounds and is yellow. It weighs 600 pounds and it's yellow. He says two 300 pound canaries. Kim Chambers wrote us a nice letter from Beechwood Avenue. And Kim wants to know if you know where the Declaration of Independence was signed. Where was the Declaration of Independence signed? <laughs> of course, the answer is at the bottom. If you have a good riddle, let us know. There's our address right there. And incidentally, if you're asking for a membership card, we'd be most happy to send you one, but double check your letter before you mail it. Make sure, especially if you're asking for a membership card, that you've given us your name and your complete mailing address, please. A reminder right now that Captain Chesapeake comes to you from WBFF Television 45 in Baltimore. And it's seven bells right now. That means time to get back to our film friends. 